Welcome to Manhattan, Kansas, where you'll hear Emaw, every man a wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child love the Kansas State Wildcats. We've got a top 25 showdown in this one. Both teams with an opportunity to get a statement victory. As we'll see, the number 16 team in the country, the Arizona Wildcats, taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Kansas State Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Kansas State about to kick off to get this game started. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Wildcats offense takes the field for the first time today. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around and tries to create good matchups to take advantage of, David. And that makes it so hard to defend. When a receiver lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all over the field as a weapon of mass destruction. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Leaves it with the back. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. Back to throw. It's Fafita. It's complete on the right side. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. You see this more and more in college football. Motion the running back out of the backfield. What am I looking for? I'm looking to see if it's man coverage. Does a linebacker go and chase him? If he does, guess what I get to do? Take advantage of my matchup. I like my speed better than yours. Grabbed in the middle. It's Riley. Early in the game as a DB, I'm settling in. It, it, it's okay if I give up four, six, seven yards. I'm just trying to get settled in, gauge the speed, and then later on, I can adjust to the speed of the game. Now on second down and short. From the gun, running back on the move. Turns it on in midfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Arizona in a hurry. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing for that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Back to throw. It's Fafita. Caught. Discards him with the stiff arm. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. The give on the inside. 
They wrestle him down after he picked up six inside the 20 and down at the 18. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And, David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. And picked off. Bringing it back. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. First down here for the offense. The give to the back. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off play action. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Also, seven yards on the play. Brings up third down. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Sides trying to find a little rhythm and efficiency and move the ball some here as we start the second quarter. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Brings it down on the right side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Wildcats moving quickly to the line. Going up top on first down. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, they execute the end route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Kansas State really has this drive rolling. The give to the tailback. Made a defender miss. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Now sliding to his left. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. How about that Mike linebacker bringing the heat right up the middle? Right down Broadway, right in the middle of the defense. This is the guy that sees everything, makes all the calls, and you could tell he knew where he was coming downhill. It came wide open, and he comes to the quarterback and gets the sack. Really need to find a productive play this time on second and long. Johnson wants to throw it. Dances away to buy time. 
Across the 25, he's got room. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick them up and put them down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping him. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't Olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. They were able to put up the three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. Now on first down from the 30. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside, and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that quarterback be going the other direction. Wants to throw on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Riley. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. Defense. So they'll decline the pass interference penalty, and the results of the play will stand. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Complete to the left. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Really effective concept against the zone there, and it helps all the more, David, when you have a tight end that can get downfield. No doubt. Take your tight end, put him in the slot, makes it easier, better matchup. Now he's got a good corner route. You can tell. Sticks his foot in the ground, quarterback puts it up there. Know he's got zone, know he's got the big fella. He goes up, catches the football, makes the big game. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And as we get deep in this first half, a first and goal and a chance to take the lead before the break. The snap sets up the throw. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Man, he was open. He had an opportunity. You just got to look that thing. A lot of times guys are catching it, and as they're catching it, you see their heads start to turn to try to think about getting upfield, and they just lose that concentration for a second. A little missed opportunity there for this offense. The aerial assault continues. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. PAT unit on the field. On 
And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kansas State, The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. The throw to the outside is complete. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now on second down. Johnson looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You can tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Kansas State back at it after picking up the first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Brown. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. And he's already one for one, so this time he'll try to put one through from 39 yards out. He got it. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great scene there today in Manhattan. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Arizona set to start this second half. They'll kick it off. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Not a lot of scoreboard fireworks from these guys in the first half, but they've got a chance here after making some halftime adjustments. Yeah, and remember, it just takes one play to kick the door open, and all of a sudden there's a lot more confidence again. So which guy on this offense can hit the big home run and break this thing open? Well, and the good thing is it's such a low-scoring game. I'm still very much in this. I can be who I am, make a few tweaks, make a few adjustments, and get this offense rolling. Johnson wants to throw it. Finds the tight end. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. 
A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. On the move, it's Giddens. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The give to the back. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. They'll run play action. They're trying to get to it. Makes a connection. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. And the offense has found a lot of success throwing to this guy out of the slot. He's done a nice job working the middle of the field, winning his one-on-one -on -one matchups. And this quarterback really feels a good rhythm when he's looking his way. This Kansas State offense is moving quickly down the field. To the ground with the back. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. You're down, obviously, at the half. You had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Wide receiver shows motion. Johnson looking to throw. Fires left. He's got it. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. They get a nice pickup on this crossing route against the zone, and everybody executed in unison, Jesse. Yeah, and Reese, this offense, they've got a plan in the passing game. They've got some stuff ready for man coverage, and they've got some zone beaters as well. You just saw one there on the crossing route. They want to throw it. Makes the grab. They've got it down to the three-yard line really well done on that throw and catch. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Trying to barge their way in. Touchdown, Kansas State! And that one will put them up here in the second half. Timely decisions, effective play management, helps them get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it was a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it into the score. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Barges ahead. He stopped short on the two-point conversion attempt. They went right back to the well with the man who scored the touchdown, but he couldn't get it in for the two. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. 
really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. Snagged in the middle, it's Murphy. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Guys, it's Kansas State who carries the lead into the quarter break. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. He'll pull it on the read. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Yeah, it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot, but nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass. It's Fafita. Throws to the wideout. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. And now such a tough situation late in this game. You're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. First time today we've seen a punter go to work. He's got great speed. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Grab behind the line. It's Brown. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Man, we needed that so bad. We needed the football. Had to get a stop. Forcing a turnover. Best case scenario. Offense back on the field. Trailing in the fourth quarter. Time to go win it. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're early in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. From the 22 on first and 10. Dropping back, it's Fafita. A shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona! 
And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Up by one, they're going to try to get the deuce here and make it a field goal lead. Pushes ahead. He will be stopped short. They can't get the two-point conversion, and they're still up by one here in the fourth. Arizona, 13, Kansas City, 12. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Set to kick this one He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed, and he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Good timing on the quick out. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend, and this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. And wisely gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got the first down. Now in plus territory and a chance to save themselves. What a great individual effort here in this two-minute situation. He makes the catch in the middle of the field. He knows he's got to find a way to stop the clock. The only way to do that is to get out of bounds. He uses his speed and his vision, and he's able to elude the defense to save some time. Running back searching for a hole. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the forward move. Stopped for a short game. How about the job by this defense today? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It, it was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Oh, no, the ball popped out. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Man, you talk about all the excitement, emotion. You're about to go take the lead in this ball game, and then you fumble and turn the football over, and now you need help. Now I need my defense to go out and somehow get me this football back after squandering that opportunity. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. The defense really did its job, David, and now the offense can put a little breathing room in this one. Yeah, breathing room would be great, but it's nice to know that you can depend on your defense. Coming up with a big stop, Jesse, I still got the lead. I'm still in a good spot. And David, you'd love to be able to pay off that defensive effort by closing this thing out, putting a beautiful drive together here when it matters most. The give is a work on that clock. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. Fires one high and deep. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the change. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football, maybe take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
bringing it back. It's Lockett. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I'm sure these guys on offense dreamed of this situation. Big stage, time winding down, desperately needing a score. Well, now they can make those dreams reality. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. On the ground, it's Giddens. Well, that's just tough, hard-nosed running. You need one yard to get, let the running back figure it out. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half, and the Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Going to the ground. Hard running there. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. You know what? Everybody gets energized on the whole football team. When you got running backs that fight for extra yards and breaks tackles, it's awesome to watch. Everybody literally gets a little jolt of energy because that guy continues to fight for everything he gets. Now he's looking to throw it. Got it! And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. They say tight ends are a quarterback's best friend in the pass game because think about it. The tight end's the guy lined up closest to the quarterback, which means generally those are the easiest throws a quarterback has. You saw it on that play. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. Short yardage play, they'll give it to the wide receiver going to the edge. Gets it into the end zone, but wait a minute. We'll have to check out the laundry on the field. Man, at this stage of the game, does that hurt to have six points taken off the board? Now they've got to regroup and try to get it in again. The give to the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Offense facing fourth down. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. Timeout, Kansas State. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. That was a spontaneous combustion of a celebration on the sidelines and wait to see what happens if they can hold on for a few more seconds. That last field goal put them on top. They're feeling good, but they can't relax yet. Have to cover this kickoff well. And he takes this from inside the five. No more room to run. They make the tackle right there, and the clock is at zero, and that's how this one will end. Kansas 